Hello everyone, thank you for joining me, I'm Kerry. Today I'll be showing you how to crochet a toucan, which was a request I received. When crocheted using 8 ply yarn and a 3mm hook, this large one, the size is 17cm wide by 17cm or 6.5 inches wide by 6.5 inches. This medium toucan crocheted using 4 ply crochet cotton and a 1.5mm hook is 11cm wide by 13.5cm or 4.25 inches wide by 5.25 inches. This small toucan crocheted using 2 ply crochet cotton and a 1mm hook is 9cm wide by 10.5cm or 3.5 inches wide by 4 inches. I'll be using Katona cotton to the today so the size will be a bit smaller than the large one. I'll tell you the size at the end of the video. I'll be using Katona cotton. I've got 110 black, 281 tangerine, 106 snow white, 254 moon rock and 242 metal grey. I'll be using a 2.5mm crochet hook I've got a darning needle to weave in the ends, scissors, sewing thread and a needle to stitch it together and I'll use a black bead. Because black is so hard to see, when I'm working the body and the other small black bit, I'll use a thicker light coloured yarn and I'll work my black part off camera. I'll be starting at the top of the head here, so for the toucan I'll be working off camera, I'll use my 110 black, but just to make it easier for you to see, I've got a cream colour. Now I start with 4 chain. For row 1 I miss the first chain and work one single crochet into each of the next two chain. A single crochet is a double crochet using UK terms. For a single crochet we put the hook into the stitch and bring up a loop, yarn around the hook and take our hook with the yarn at the end through two loops. And we need one single crochet in the next stitch as well. Then we work one half double crochet into our last chain. A half double crochet is a half treble using UK terms. For a half double crochet we put the yarn around the hook, hook into the stitch and bring up a loop, yarn around the hook and take our hook with the yarn at the end through the three loops. For row two we start with two chain and turn our work. We work two half double crochet into the first stitch then we're going to work one single crochet into that first stitch as well and then one single crochet into each of the last two stitches. For row three we start with one chain and turn. We work one single crochet into each of the first four stitches. and two single crochet into the last stitch. For row four we start with one chain and turn. We work two single crochet into the first stitch
and one single crochet in each stitch to the end will have seven stitches. And then we work four chain. That's for the little part where the beak joins on to. For row five we work a slip stitch in the second chain from the hook. So this stitch here, for a slip stitch we put our hook into the stitch, bring through a loop and take the loop straight through the loop on the hook. Then we work one single crochet into the next stitch and one half double crochet into the last chain and then we work one single crochet in each stitch to the last stitch so we spin our work around and work into the stitches there so one single crochet in each stitch to the last stitch And then work two single crochet into the last stitch. For row six, we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet into each of the first seven stitches. For row 7 we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet in each of the seven stitches. For row 8 we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet in each stitch. For row 9 we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet in each of the seven stitches. For row 10 we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet in each stitch. For row 11 we start with one chain and turn, we work two single crochet into the first stitch, then one single crochet in each stitch to the end, we'll have eight stitches.
and then we work three chain. That's for the little part that sticks out at the back. For row 12 we miss the first chain and work one single crochet in each of the two remaining chain. And then spin the work around and work one single crochet in each stitch to the last stitch. and we'll work two single crochet into the last stitch. For row 13 we start with one chain and turn. We work two single crochet into the first stitch and then one single crochet into each stitch to the end. We'll have 12 stitches. For row 14 we start with one chain and turn. We work a joined single crochet over the first two stitches. So we put our hook into the first stitch and bring up a loop and hook into the next stitch and bring up a loop. We've got three loops on the hook. We put the yarn around the hook and take our hook with the yarn at the end through all the loops. Then we work one single crochet in each stitch to the last stitch. and we work two half double crochet into the last stitch. For row 15 we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet in each of the 12 stitches. For row 16 we start with one chain and turn. We work a joined single crochet over the first two stitches. 
Then we'll work one single crochet in each stitch to the last stitch. We'll work two half double crochet in the last stitch and we'll have 12 stitches. So after our joined single crochet work, one single crochet in each stitch to the last stitch. and work two half double crochet into the last stitch. For row 17 we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet in each of the 12 stitches. For row 18 we start with one chain and turn, we work one single crochet in each stitch to the last stitch. and work two half double crochet into the last stitch. For row 19 we start with one chain and turn. We work one single crochet in each of the first eight stitches and one half double crochet in each stitch to the end. For row 20 we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet in each of the 13 stitches.
For bow 21 we start with one chain and turn. We work one single crochet in each stitch till we have two stitches left. We'll work a joined single crochet over the last two stitches and we'll have 12 stitches. So one single crochet in each stitch till we have two left. I've got two stitches left, we work a joined single crochet over the last two stitches. For bow 22 we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet in each of the 12 stitches. For bow 23 we start with one chain and turn. We work one single crochet in each of the first 10 stitches. and a joined single crochet over the last two stitches. For bow 24 we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet in each of the 11 stitches. For bow 25 we start with one chain and turn. We work a joined single crochet over the first two stitches. Then one single crochet in each stitch until we have two stitches left. and work a joined single crochet over the last two stitches. For bow 26 we start with one chain and turn. We work a joined single crochet over the first two stitches and one single crochet in each stitch to the end will have eight stitches. For 
row 27 we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet in each of the eight stitches. For row 28 we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet in each stitch. For row 29 we start with one chain and turn. We work a joined single crochet over the first two stitches. One single crochet in each stitch until we have two left. and work a joined single crochet row for the last two stitches. For row 30 we start with one chain and turn. We work one single crochet in each of the first five stitches. and two single crochet into the last stitch. For row 31 we start with one chain and turn. We work one single crochet in each of the first five stitches. and a joined single crochet over the last two stitches. For row 32 we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet in each stitch. And that's the body done. We're going to work a neatening row up the side to the bottom of the part where the beak joins. So just in that little corner there of just one slip stitch. So you can start with one chain if you'd like to make it easier and just work a slip stitch in each stitch. It can be easier for neatening rows to use a size or two finer hook.
Now I'm up to the corner so if I fasten off and that's the body done. We work the beak next and then we'll neaten from the beak down to the bottom there and then work the tail. So I'll continue working on this larger piece because it will be easier for you to see what I'm doing with the beak. So I'll weave in these ends and I'll be back with the orange for the beak. I'll start on the beak now. I have done the black part for the bird but I'll continue working on this piece until I've finished the tail just so it's easier for you to see where I'm joining on the beak and doing around the tail. Now for my other bird I'd have the 281 the tangerine and I join to the first stitch of the chain from row 4 so just in here and we work one single crochet in each of the first five stitches we should get to the first stitch around onto the top of the head so one single crochet in each of the first five stitches just up the side of the head and around For row two we start with two chain and turn. We work one half double crochet into the first stitch, then one single crochet into each of the next three stitches. and two single crochet just in near where we joined. Now we're going to slip stitch in the side of the chain and then slip stitch into the top but I like to slip stitch from the front of my work. This is the right side here but it is a bit tricky especially because we're working into the back of the chain. So one slip stitch about halfway up and then slip stitch into the top of the chain. For row 3 we work 2 single crochet in that join there, just next to where our chain from row 4 of the body is. So 2 single crochet in the join and 1 single crochet in each stitch to the end. We'll have 8 stitches. For row 4 we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet in each of the 8 stitches.
For row 5 we start with 1 chain and turn. We work a joined single crochet over the first 2 stitches. Then 1 single crochet in each stitch to the end. We'll have 7 stitches. For row 6 we start with 1 chain and turn and work 1 single crochet in each of the 7 stitches. For row 7 we start with 1 chain and, turn and work 1 single crochet in each of the first 5 stitches. And a joined single crochet over the last 2 stitches. For row 8 we start with 1 chain and turn and work 1 single crochet in each of the 6 stitches. For row 9 we start with 1 chain and turn and work 1 single crochet in each of the first 4 stitches. And a joined single crochet over the last 2 stitches. For row 10 we start with 1 chain and turn and work 1 single crochet in each of the 5 stitches. For row 11 we start with 1 chain and turn and work 1 single crochet in each stitch. For row 12 we start with 1 chain and turn and work 1 single crochet in each of the 5 stitches. For row 13 we start with 1 chain and turn we work one single crochet in each of the first three stitches. And a joined half double crochet over the last two stitches. So we put the yarn around the hook, hook into the next stitch and bring up a loop. Yarn around the hook, hook into the last stitch and bring up a loop. There are quite a few loops on the hook. Then we put the yarn around the hook and take our hook with the yarn at the end through all the loops. For bow 14 we start with 1 chain and turn and work 1 single crochet in each of the 4 stitches.
For row 15 we start with one chain and turn. We work one single crochet in each of the first two stitches and a joined half double crochet over the last two stitches. For row 16 we start with three chain and turn and we're going to work a joined double crochet, half double crochet and single crochet over the three stitches. So we put the yarn around the hook, hook into the first stitch and bring up a loop, yarn around the hook and take our hook with the yarn at the end through two loops. Then yarn around the hook, hook into the next stitch and bring up a loop. Then hook into the last stitch and bring up a loop. Then yarn around the hook and take our hook with the yarn at the end through all the loops. And we fasten off. And that's the beak done, except for the neatening row. I'll just weave in those ends just so it's easier for you to see and we'll work the neatening row. For the neatening row we join the tangerine to the first stitch of the beak. So just in here and we could either work one slip stitch each stitch around or just work a tiny bit of shaping just at the end of the beak. I'll work a bit of shaping. So we'll work one slip stitch in each stitch up to just the bottom side of the end of the beak. Now I'm just at the end of the beak, I'm going to work two chain and one single crochet in the second chain from the hook and then slip stitch in the next stitch along the beak. That will just give it that little point at the bottom end of the beak. And then one slip stitch in each stitch up to the head. And once we get to the head, we fasten off. And that's the beak finished. I'll weave in those ends and then we'll work a neatening row down from the top of the head down to the bottom of the body and then we'll work the tail. 
Now for the neatening of the back side of the body and the tail, we join our black, we'd be using black, um, to the stitch after the beak. And work one slip stitch in each stitch, just down, right down to the body, to the last stitch on the side of the body before we go round the corner. Now I'm to the last stitch before I turn round the corner for the tail. I start with 10 chain. I miss 2 chain and work 1 half double crochet in each remaining chain. and then slip stitch into the first stitch along the bottom. And then we work 12 chain. We miss two chain and work one half double crochet in each remaining chain.
and then slip stitch in the next stitch along the bottom. And then work 12 chain. We miss the first chain and work one half double crochet in each remaining chain. and slip stitch in the next stitch along the bottom. Then work 13 chain. We miss two chain and work one half double crochet in each remaining chain. and slip stitch in the next stitch along the bottom and work 13 chain. We miss two chain and work one half double crochet in each remaining chain. and slip stitch in the next stitch along the bottom and work 13 chain We miss two chain and work one half double crochet in each remaining chain.
and slip stitch in the last stitch along the bottom and we fasten off leaving a long tail to weave in the tail parts together and that's the body and beak done. For the first part I've got my 116, the Snow White. I've got my Katona cotton now. It will be much easier to work with. It won't split like the other yarn. I start with 5 chain For row 1 we work 2 single crochet in the 2nd chain from the hook one single crochet in each of the next two stitches and two single crochet into the last stitch. For row two we start with one chain and turn. We work two single crochet into the first stitch one single crochet into each of the next four stitches and two single crochet into the last stitch Row 3 we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet in each of the 8 stitches. For row 4 we start with 1 chain and turn. We work a joined single crochet over the first 2 stitches and then 1 single crochet in each stitch to the end. We'll have 7 stitches. For row 5 we start with 1 chain and turn. We work a joined single crochet over the first 2 stitches and then 1 single crochet in each stitch to the end. We'll have 6 stitches. For row 6 we start with 1 chain and turn and work 1 single crochet in each of the 6 stitches. For row 7 we start with 1 chain and turn we work a joined single crochet over the first two stitches and one single crochet in each stitch to the end. We'll have five stitches. For row weight, we turn our work and slip stitch into the second stitch. We miss that first stitch and slip stitch into the second stitch 
and then work one chain. We work one single crochet in the same stitch as our chain and then one single crochet in each of the last three stitches. For row 9 we start with 2 chain and turn. We work a joined half double crochet over the first 2 stitches. And one single crochet in each of the last two stitches. For row 10, we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet in each of the three stitches. And that's the breast part done except for the neatening row. For the neatening row, we start with one chain and work one single crochet in each stitch down our work and up to the first stitch of the last row. We're not going to work our neatening row along the top. I'll just slip stitch into the last stitch along the side and fasten off. And that's the breast part done. I'll weave in those ends and I'll be back with the tangerine to do this little part at the top. Now for this little eye area at the top of the breast, I join in the first of the three stitches of the breast. I've got my 281 the tangerine and I work one chain. I work one single crochet in the same stitch as the chain and one single crochet in each of the next two stitches. For row two, I start with one chain and turn. We work a joined single crochet over the first two stitches and a joined single crochet over the same stitch as the last part of the joint single crochet and the last stitch. For row three, we start with one chain and turn and work a joint single crochet over the two stitches and fasten off. And that's the breast and the eye area done. Now for this big marking, we choose our 110, the black. 
but I'll use my cream to make it easier to see. We start with a magic loop. There's lots of ways to make a magic loop, so make it how you feel most comfortable. I just put my hook on the yarn, bring the short end over the hook and the long end over the short end to make a circle, put the yarn around the hook and bring my hook with the yarn at the end through the circle, just like I'd start with a chain. And I work one chain and two single crochet into the circle. I pull the circle tight so I take hold of the tail and ease it in, but I don't join. For row two, we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet in each of the two stitches. For row three, we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet in each stitch. For row 4 we start with one chain and turn and work a joined single crochet over the two stitches and then work three chain. For row 5 we work one slip stitch in the second chain from the hook. And one single crochet in the last chain and slip stitch into the top of the stitch from row 4. And that's the marking done, the beat marking. We're going to work one slip stitch in each stitch around the bottom to where we started the chain, just for a evening row. So one slip stitch in each stitch just around until we get to the chain. And once we get to the chain, we fasten off. And that's the beat marking done. For the branch, I've got my 254, the moon rock, and we work 40 chain. In this two chain and work one double crochet in each of the next 11 chain. A double crochet is a treble using UK terms. For a double crochet we put the yarn around the hook, put our hook into the stitch and bring up a loop, yarn around the hook and take our hook with the yarn at the end through two loops, yarn around the hook, hook with the yarn at the end through two more loops. So we need 10 more double crochet.
we work two double crochet in each of the next two stitches and then two half double crochet into the following stitch then we'll work one half double crochet in each of the next about 18 chain it doesn't matter if it's not quite 18 and then one single crochet in each stitch to the end and fasten off And that's the branch. Now for the claws, they both work the same. I've got my 242, the metal grey, and we start with six chain. We miss the first chain and work one slip stitch in each of the next three chain. and then work four chain we miss one chain and work one slip stitch in each of the next three chain and then work three chain We miss the first chain and work one slip stitch into each of the next two chain. and then into the same stitch as the third slip stitch from the first claw part and then one single crochet 
in each of the last two chains. and fasten off. And that's the first claw. The second ones work the same. We start with six chain. Miss the first chain and work one slip stitch in each of the next three chain. And then work four chain. We miss the first chain and work one slip stitch in each of the last three chain. And then work three chain. Miss the first chain and work one slip stitch in each of the last two chain. Slip stitch into the last chain of the first claw and then work one single crochet in each of the last two chain. and fasten off. Now that's all the pieces worked. I'll just weave in the ends and I'll be back and we'll put it together. Now there's the pieces. I've got the body, the breast with the eye area, the two claws, the branch and the beak marking. The first things I'll do is weave the tail parts together um, about two thirds of the way. I leave it, the last bit unwoven together. I weave the parts together from the back. I'll attach the beak marking just at the top of the beak like that and I'll attach the black bead in the middle of the eye area there the next things we do is attach the breast and eye area part to the body just in like that and attach the branch across the bird. This edge goes towards the tail, just above the tail and it slopes up a little bit. So in about there, the last thing we do is attach the claws over the branch. One goes just in there on this side. We attach it to the body and then curl it around the branch. And the other one goes right at the edge of the body and then over the branch past where the body is. So in about there. So I'll do that and I'll be back to show you the finished toucan. And there's the finished toucan. The size is 14 centimetres wide by 17 centimetres or five and a half inches by six and a half inches. If you've liked my video please like, subscribe and share. I'm also on Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest and Twitter. The details are in the description below along with the details of my website where I have my patterns, the details of my Facebook group and the details of my Patreon. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye.